Hello, and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm so glad you're here. The trees are starting to turn. Oh, and I'm Gail Thompson. I am going to show you a project today that was inspired back at the Cincinnati uh, Stamp Away convention, and it was so nice to be able to get there. Anyway, I'm also on the blog name Hero, uh, design team and so this is inspiration for a glitzy card as well and I'll tell you how you can join in the fun and win either a $50 gift certificate or a $25 one. First I'm just taking some white card stock and I'm using double sided adhesive and just attaching it to uh, one side of that and this stuff is sticky and if you don't get it on the paper perfect for this it doesn't matter and I didn't because uh, once you've stuck it, it, it ain't, it's not repositionable, pardon my English. So I flattened it all back down and you could of course brayer it as well. And I'm cutting off the excess sticky and of course I forgot to use my Teflon scissors. So another mess to clean up, but that won't be the only one with this, I'll tell you what. So I found the easiest way to contain this is to just use a cardboard box and I didn't want to do the entire sheet uh, right at this time just for this project so I just folded the release paper in half and I got out my Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Flakes. I think this is the autumn one and they are truly beautiful but you know if you can not breathe that would be helpful. They're kind of staticky and there are flakes and there's, you know, a little bit of like dust in there, foily dust, but they are really beautiful and I love the end result. And you can try to get them all back in the jar, but as you see, it is, it's not easy. And at the end, if you've used the box, you can go ahead and dump them back in the jar. Before I burnish it, I am just laying it down all the loose bits with my fingers to get things started and then I will just add more flakes here as we go. The leaves here in Ohio in the United States are finally starting to turn. The, some of them I think are just going to drop off and you know and we're just gonna have to pick them up which is not going to be easy because I had my shoulder replaced but hopefully my kids will help. But the other trees, it's about, I'd say, three weeks late. Um, they're gorgeous. It's, this is my favorite time of year. It always has been. So I'm just going to, I can't, I'm not allowed to drive, but I can look out the window while someone else does. And I can admire the trees in my neighborhood. So I'm getting just the little, the little nitty gritties, and I'm taking some release paper and just pushing it down to kind of help control things. There's still going to be some sticky bits on the side. And I fill it in and I use my Teflon bone folder to burnish it a little more. Tap off the excess and there's always still, I think you know, going to be a little excess until you really burnish the final thing. When I run it through the uh, Gemini die cutter, that pretty much, that burnishes. If anything's going to burnish it, that's going to burnish it. And I used uh, just a foam uh, from my uh, blending tool to kind of get some of that off. And I'm just going to trim off the gilding flakes part. And, and that release paper, fortunately, is only dirty on the side that's been used. The other is perfectly clean and ready for another project. So there is our card front and I'm using the Autumn Leaves Fancy Dies by Hero Arts. Now I'm just going to die cut everything because I really don't know where I'm going with this yet, which isn't unusual for me. I'm going to pack on as many things as I can. I'm going to run it through multiple times and I even save the last little bit and I'm I'll just chop it up for extra little you know, branches or whatever is needed in another project. I gathered them all up and stuck them in a little plastic bag, but I try not to waste anything. And there's our hugs hindament 
That is from Birch Press, maybe. Um, I will look for you, though. I'm just placing this down on a uh, black piece of card stock. Um, normally, I would position things and move them around and all of that. Uh, that's one of the little scraps that I'm using for that stem, for that side sunflower. Uh, I have to laugh because I do hold things over the cards and move around stuff. And Tim Holtz calls them hovercrafters. And that's pretty cute because I do that most of the time. But I kind of sort of had planned this once I uh, saw what pieces I was going to use. I'm using uh, art glitter glue. It dries matte and clear. So if anything oozes out, no worries. You won't see it. That, I use that glue a lot. Um, I'm kind of sticking down some pieces that I did not see. And there we go. That's the centerpiece of the front of our card. I made a Z-fold card accidentally off screen. All you do is take an A2 size card or whatever size and just fold the back on itself. And so it's basically half. And now I'm going to glue a panel on the inside of the card. I apologize for being partially off screen. I, I don't know why I'm so zoomed in, but it is what it is now. I was trying to get a whole lot of projects done before my uh, surgery, so I, you know, was kind of whipping through things. So I attached the hugs to uh, the backdrop of the same die. It comes with two pieces to a piece of black, so it stand out a little better. And I'm using my T ruler to make sure that it's even because you, it, one word like that would be pretty bad if it was lopsided. And I eyeball everything but this. So just I, just making sure everything's stuck down good. I want to make sure that this front panel covers. And then I decided to it needed something behind it. So I used the rounded rectangle die to make a little uh, border for our flower. And I'm going to just kind of figure out where I'm going to place this and just glue the one side. Now there have been times where I've accidentally glued more than just half of something and done this. But this time I remembered. I'm just eyeballing it, making sure it's pretty centered. And there is our final project. Except for that I decided that that inside was kind of boring. So I used an Ulta New, one of those thin border dies and just ran a little bead of glue around. And um, there's actually two pieces on that one. So it's kind of double the width. And I'm kind of fiddle faddling with that. And now here is our final project. I hope you'll consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. Join us for the uh, Blog Name Hero monthly challenge. And I will be back again soon. You have a wonderful week. Be sure to check out some of these videos as well as I've got a huge playlist. You take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.